This week on Amateur Brews, we have two more distilled brewings, uh, a wild sour series. We have the Cranberry Creek, or Crick, however you'd like to say that. I think that's and a And an apricot. No, that's Cranberry Crick. Cranberry Crick. C-R-I-E-K. Crick Crick. Not Crick. Cranberry Crick. Cranberry Crick. Um, and this is uh, part three of the ongoing saga, which is the Wild Sour series, and I am really enjoying it. Uh, we got Remy back for this one, yeah. Justin and Dakota, um, Did which we had a lot of fun. Oh, it was good. It was delicious. I have one I can give you. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. I think I do. Yeah, I do. I do. Thank you. I really love that one. Um, Justin tried to ruin it for me, though. But it smelled like butter. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, the liquid butter. That'd be great. Oh, it, it's a great beer. Like, I have had that beer a number of times now. I mm -hmm. love it every single time. It's just, as soon as he said that, I was like, oh. Oh. I'm sure you than burnt cookies. <laughs> All right, um... Well, I'm not the biggest I, apricot fan, so we're going to get that one done with yeah. first. I have a feeling I'm going to really like this one because I actually like apricots. I like dried apricots specifically. But uh, this one's rocking 6% at 8 IBUs, so it should be fairly chill on its hoppiness. <laughs> it is a dry hop sour brew with and apricots. It smells like the. It does not smell like the dry the dry hopped one though, because yeah. where the dry hopped one was like a dry hop smell. This one's got a fruity, fruitier smell. It has a fruity still got that fruit. overtone. Yes, but it has the, the dry, dry hoppy. Hop. I mean, I like. I didn't mind that one. I like that one. I mean, but they they got the IBU down from twelve to eight. Which is quite a bit. Yeah, quite a bit. Well, not quite a bit when you're talking beers, really. But I've, I've seen, seen I, I've seen beers with IBUs up in the hundreds. They removed a third. Yeah. Of the rating. Right. It's tart. Mm, I think that's its saving grace for me. Now I will say, remembering back to the psychopathic. This one was a little harder for me to drink because yeah. it was just kind of a sour, dry hop. Nothing else to it. Where the fruitiness come on, this it kind of it's more it's smooth. It it's, is smoother, it, but it's not like very apricotty. No, which I was it's afraid like, of, like being me, slapped in the face with apricot. Closer to like you. It's probably been a long time since you've had a peach. But, um, like, as, as you get into a pitted fruit, maybe not so much cherries because they're kind of even throughout, you get a different flavor when you, mm -hmm. when you get right up next to that pit. Right. And that's kind of what I get. I get a, a pity fruit flavor. A pit fruit flavor? Yeah. I'm not... I'm not the biggest fan of this one, actually. I'm... This is the tartness, though. The tartness is nice. The, it, oh. It's got a sour. Like, it's... I think... This, for the tartness-wise, I mean... The fruit flavor is not it my... Nails it. Not my strong suit yeah. with it. But the tartness-wise, I think out of the wild sour seeds, this is the one yeah. that, like... It's sour. It, it's sour, and it's nice, and it's... It's a refreshing sour. Like, it's... It wakes you up a little yeah. bit. I also think this... They use different hops from the syncopathic. Hmm. Because different hops have, I don't know if you know, that there are different strains of hops. Oh, yeah. 
and like your English strains will be different than your American strains and et cetera, et cetera. Mm. I think they use a different hop. What, what kind of hop that is, I don't know. I would be interested to know because I want to learn a little bit more about hops because it's just good to know. Yeah, no, it's the more you know. Yeah, you've got to put that in there. You've got to put, you've got to put the star. The more, the more you know. know. <laughs> That's from the Reading Rainbow, right? I believe so. Maybe. All right. It's weird when the burp is a little bit more pleasant than the beer. Just let you cross. It does have it does have fruitiness to it though. Yeah, which is but it's nice. not. It, it, it's just like kind of more of a generic pitted fruit flavor. Yeah, like a peach it. or an apricot or. But it's not, but it's not like peach. It's not like apricot. It's just yeah, pit fruit, but not cherry. Yeah, because cherry is technically still a pit fruit, but cherries are their yeah. own beast. Yeah. <clears throat> when you think about a cherry, you only get so much off of that pit, so yeah. the ratio is different. Like, oh, much different. Cherries like and the pits pit. are different. Yeah, because you know a peach pit. I'm gonna say chuckability on this one's actually gonna be kind of low. From one, I'm enjoying this Sip drinking it. it, but now the tart flavor. Yeah. It's probably not the best to lend itself to chugging. I think you might actually like this one better than I do. I mean... Okay. Which is surprising. Oh, no, yeah. Going into it, I was like, mm, iffy. I'm like, <clears throat> I have to. I'm, I want to collect them all. You're almost there. I'm almost there. You have only got like, what, three IPAs and a wheat left? From not what? even in the Sour Series, just from the, <laughs> the company. Oh. Oh, well, what we have here in our local IV? Yeah. Yeah. But those those are cans are beautiful, though. Those IPAs. Mm. Oh. I'll give it a solid six on chuggability. It's chuggable, but not the most chuggable one that we've had so far. Mm. But it's got yeah. it almost has a funkiness to it. The burps are nice. The burps are yeah. Uh, 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 mm. yeah. We're gonna have to I'm gonna have to for hall or around Halloween if I can find it. Boulevard has a funky pumpkin beer. And yeah, you're gonna say pumpkin. It is you'd be surprised it doesn't actually taste like pumpkin. I mean I love pumpkin. Well, I will, if I can get it and find it, and if it's anything like the one I had years ago, you will finally understand what somebody means when they say funk in a beer. Oof. Because it's just funk. funk. And it's, it's not bad. I, well, objectively, it's not bad. I like the funk. You gonna get down with funk? Yes. Because we need the funk. Gotta have that funk. I don't think you realized that I was just quoting a song. Oh, I know. <laughs> By Parliament. I just really want to say, play that funky music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's a little <laughs> bit of a different band. It's a different band, different song all together, but it's like, cute. Play that funky music. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> On to the, the crick. Cranberry crick. On, the, on down to that crick. All right, so, uh, the... I wonder if it's going to be good to have down there by the crick. The apricot was uh, sitting at a nice uh, 6%. Just sitting a little lower at 5. But all the way up to a 17 IBU. It should still be pretty, pretty drinkable. See, but this is just a sour ale brewed with cranberries and sweet cherries. I hope there's a little bit less hot to it. Like, 
There is a fruity tone, but I can't place almost like dried cranberries. Uh, just dried fruit. Yeah. Dried red fruit. Yeah. Right. Like raisins, dried cranberries, dried cherries. They all kind of have that same open up like a staleness almost. Yeah. It's a pleasant smell oh. of it. Oh, is it light? Oh. The beer's not. That's tart. <laughs> Ooh. I would Ooh. definitely say it is it is definitely cranberry forward. Oh. Mm. Wow. I don't think I've had a beer that's so that unscented. Have such a potent. Very yeah. potent flavor. Normally it has some heft to the flavor and everything. You get scent coming off of this. This thing Ooh. is like silent and whew. silent okay. but deadly. Where I said the apricot had tartness to it. This one's just straight sour. This is almost it's sour. It's tart, it's almost malic like, acid. Yeah. Ooh. Which, if you don't know what malic acid this is, acid is, malic acid is what I, if I remember correctly, what they use on gummy worms mm. to make them nice and sour. Um, I for sure like this one better. Ooh. Oh yeah, that 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 hits that same <sighs> sensation of like sour candy. Def definitely drinkable on the crate. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, I would crazy. take this on a float in a heartbeat. Oh. Yeah. A couple <laughs> cases on my float trip. Yeah, because unfortunately these only come in four packs. Unfortunately. Um, and they were how much a piece? Like ten ten and nine a piece? I get the receipt to my email. Oh. A lot less, a lot more expensive than my my lager. Yeah, I'm these aren't no. Yeah, these are no dollar beers, guys. Yeah, these are definitely a three four dollar tan of beer. No. If you buy them, in, if you buy them individually. No, individually, yeah. Three or four dollars, probably three fifty a can. Mm -hmm. And that's only because they've got to make some money on them when they yeah. break them down like they do. That is. Um. That's beautiful. Chuggability. Mm. Nil. No. 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 Bad luck turning the hammer cut with the just tartness, but mm. that it it's chuggable oh. because of how it is very smooth and it's actually pretty oh. it's pretty light in flavor. But holy cow will it kick your ass with some sour. And it's not like super like strong sour, like it's just No, it's, it's pleasant. It's pucker sour. It, it's edging on pucker. Yeah. And I don't even. Are, are we talking like the alcohol pucker or are we talking like actual physical pucker? Like puckering from a sour candy. Oh, yeah. It, it entices that, that feeling that you get at the back of your jaw when you th start thinking really sour candies like lemon heads and. Mm -hmm. It gives you that, that tang. That kind oh, yeah. of the sour tang. But it's still so light, so like. It is still very. I, I think it's very cranberry forward. Oh, yeah, it is. And I think the cranberry lends itself to that. And it's not. That, that sour in yeah. flavor, because to me, cranberry is a very upfront flavor. Oh, yeah. Um, and then in time I drink cranberry, it's because, you know, I like that shock to my system of. The wake up in the morning. Yeah, the wake up. It is a great wake up juice. Because it's just bam. It's your, it's your go go juice. <laughs> it's go coffee is my go go juice. It's a go go juice just based on taste. Doesn't need any caffeine. It's just, oh, hello world. I'm alive. Good morning beer. If you want to wake up real fucking fast. Have okay. a beer in the morning. I was going to say a brunch beer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Better than that uh, three pepper cider. Oh, yeah. It was a great. You know what else this would actually experience. probably be pretty good in? Hmm? Shower beer. Shower in the morning, 
if you want to start drinking before noon, I, I would totally drink this in the shower. Pool though. Oh, I don't think, yes. I, don't think it's a, I, I would. I don't think it's a pool beer. I definitely think it's a creek beer. Well, here we go. Because it's two different experiences. Well, but here, here's the thing. It's you got that nice sour, but it's also super s smooth, and it's something I can just sit there and sip and enjoy. So I can enjoy that floating down a creek. But at the same time, I can enjoy this just laying on a piece of concrete by a pool. Um, I mean, like it's just it's nice because I love sour. The other thing is, is that we didn't use glasses this time, so you can't really see the color on on this one. But it does have a reddish, a reddish hue. tinge to a it. Hue. A hue. A hue of red. Yeah. Whereas this one was pretty clear, and the the lager was also pretty. Yeah. <laughs> lager was a lager. It was a lager. <laughs> a three percent lager. Whoo! Possibly a four percent lager. We don't know. It's a mystery lager. Not a mystery lager. We know it's a lager. We know it's pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. But these, Ooh. I have to uh, say, my favorite one of the series so far. It. it I still think I like the. On I still think I like the, the. Here goes a nothing. Okay. I like the goza. Here's the thing. Here goes the nothing is the best name out of them. So oh cool. yeah, I like. Well, cranberry creek. It's just fun. It's like fun it. to say. But here goes the nothing. Here goes a. Here goes a nothing. It's so great. We, if I remember correctly, goza is a German style beer. I think so. I'd have to. I'd have to double check on that. Don't quote me. I'm with Definitely don't you. harass me on the comments. Harass. I like it. Rating? Six. A six. A six. Uh, apricot for me, I'm going to have to put it down there at a three. I'm uh, not a fan of the apricot all that much. There we go. I, I like sour and tartness. And just, the on the tartness of, the, just on the tartness alone, out of the other Wild Sour series, it's a four for me. Yeah. And for me, I just didn't... I liked the tartness, but I, I just couldn't. The flavor for it was not right. It could use some tweakage. Tweakage? Need some just more... Some slight tweaking. Sourness to it. No. It needs a little more apricot. It needs that apricot flavor, which is... If they're not using actual apricots, which I really hope they are, it's kind of hard to get. Well, I'm also thinking dried apricots. Because mm -hmm. I don't, I, I don't know if I've ever actually had an ap, uh, a fresh apricot. Of, of the series though, probably my second favorite, even though I haven't had the pina colada yet. I have, have to say, colada, here goes a nothing. In all honesty, here goes a nothing. Um, this, I think it was the rosé I liked better, the the, uh, the Lindenbrook, I believe it is. Yeah, Lindenbrook. The, Linden, the Lindenbrook, and then I liked the Syncopathic, and then I'd have to put the, the Flanders Red. The, I'd have to put the Flanders Red and the Apricot on the same. To same me, sill. the Apricot's above the Flanders Red and the Syncopathic. I like the syncopathic better than yeah. yeah. But then again, we all, I think I also rated the syncopathic higher I think you're right on the list as like a four. Then I did the apricot. And I was like four. Yeah. Those are threes. Yeah. Alright. Well I think that's it for this episode. Yeah. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.